we get asked all the time about our truck. And I think one of the reasons we get asked all the time is because of the hauler body. So I thought today what I might do is open up all the cargo doors, show you what we put inside of them. I'm gonna empty all the cargo bays, stack it all up behind the truck and show you what kind of cargo space we actually have in here. But before I do that, let me give you a real quick tour around the truck, then we'll get busy unloading the cargo bays. So if we start right here, what you're looking at is a classy chassis hauler body. We bought this truck cabin chassis, and then we had classy chassis in Valparaiso, Indiana, rip out the rear suspension. They put on the Kelderman Air Ride for us. They built the bed and installed that all for us with the headache rack, the fifth wheel hitch, a 90 gallon auxiliary fuel tank. We still have our 52 gallon fuel tank underneath the truck. We put on some step sides along here, as you'll notice. He put on the uh, step rails. You have to excuse the dirt because we've been getting a lot of rain around here. It is a Ram 5500. It has the Cummins engine. It has the six-speed ASIN transmission. It's just been a really, really good truck for us. Now we opted to put the spare tire in the bed so that we could keep our 52 gallon fuel tank underneath the truck. All right, let me set you down. I'm gonna open up the cargo doors and then I'll take you a little tour about what we put inside. So now that I have your attention, before we go any further, let me just mention that I'm the Dave half of Dave and Diane throwing caution the wind. We've been full-time RVing on the road since November 2012, so at the time of this video, we're really close to being on the road actually traveling 11 years. We've camped in 450 campgrounds across the country, over 450 campgrounds. We've uh, full-timed in two different Class A's and two different fifth wheels. So we really understand the full-time RV lifestyle. We communicated to the RV community with our blog to begin with. We did over 850 blog posts. And at this point, we've done over 300 YouTube videos. And I'm gonna also mention that we are not sponsored. The whole entire time with our blog and our YouTube channel has all been just out of the goodness of our heart trying to share things with the YouTube community and the RV community. No sponsorships whatsoever. What we do enjoy is if you give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel, those are the things that really help us out. Now, let's get busy on this tour. Let's start back here with the smallest cargo bay. So what I keep inside here is our bungee cords and ropes and tie downs. The bubble wrap you see back there are actually the wheel covers for our fifth wheel. I don't put them on because I normally torque down the uh, wheels more often than normal. So I just leave them in there not to mess with them. We call this our play bay. So this bay actually goes from here to here. And it's a real kind of a shallow bay, but it holds it quite a bit. We keep things like backpacks, small chairs, hiking sticks, pickle balls, um, oddball things like that. We'll empty it out in a minute. This one here is uh, just our goodie tray. So I usually carry an extra five gallons of fuel for Diane's car. We keep all the cleaning goods up here. I have an extra hitch to go in the back of the truck if we need to. Here's our tire covers. Back there is actually a donkey we put up if we're going to stay somewhere for a while. And notice as we walk around that this is not near full. All right, let's switch around to the other side here. The other bays are the exact same size, but of course we keep different stuff in them. And hopefully the sun is going to uh, cooperate with us. So this bay right now, we have our fire extinguisher in here. We have a few of our jack pads, and we have a few more horse pads down below. Hopefully you can see that. This bay always stays unlocked because of the fire extinguisher. This bay here, I keep uh, the torque wrench to keep our tools to use for the uh, unhooking and hooking up the fifth wheel. Here's our cables for our camera system. We keep our collapsible uh, cones back here and then we have a few other things back up in here so we usually keep gloves oddball things and this bay here hopefully again you can see in here i keep a dremel a dremel tool kit i keep a drill kit here two different tool bags 
um, things like tarps and whatnot. And this is the bay where we have our DEF for the tank. All right, let me set you down. I'm gonna empty out these cargo bays, set it behind the truck. You can have a look. Holy crap, I got more stuff in there than I thought I had. In other words, I need to clean these bays out. Now remember, we did a little walk around. These bays were, what would you call them, three quarter full? So we could put a lot more in here than what we have. But let me give you a little rundown of what we have in the bays. As I mentioned, these are wheel covers for the fifth wheel. We keep jumper cables, another hitch right there, a hiking bag, a chair. There's our donkey for our campgrounds we stay at for a long time. There's our um, Aero Cosmetics that we always use on the truck and the coach. We have a bunch of extra rags right there need to go get washed. And there's our wheel covers for the RV and the truck. There's an extra hitch right there, five gallon gas uh, tank. There's our hiking poles. There's an extra cover, that's, a, that's our nice bike cover. Pickle balls, uh, here, here's our fancy snap pads. We don't have snap pads, we cut up some, uh, some stall pads and, and that's what we use uh, one toolbox that's just an old deer bag it's nice cover for whatever we use that of course to uh, unhook and hook up the truck that's one of those crazy air lounges you run around like a fool and <laughs> it's supposed to fill up with air and you lay in it I don't know I don't like it and we have some extra we have some extra uh, water filters a bag full of rags that needs to be cleaned out there's some pickleball shoes there's that bag full of uh, bungee cords and tie downs and ropes. That little uh, gray piece there is some clamps. Of course, on top of there is a spare gas tank lid. There is our um, torque wrench. These here take care of our um, cameras on the fifth wheel. Another little wrench there. A Dremel tool, another tool bag, some knee pads. The blue bag in the corner is our drill, um, battery powered drill. Uh, tarp and then we have our fire extinguisher a 12 ton jack a few more bungee cords um, some of our uh, jack pads are being used at the RV right now but that's just the extra ones that we have this cover came with the truck I've never used it in four years five well since 2018 obviously I don't need it and there are our collapsible cones there you go <laughs> that's a quite a bit of stuff there you have it like I said, we get asked a lot about our truck and an awful lot about our hauler body. And one of the questions we get asked a lot is how much stuff we can fit inside those bays. When I show them the bays, they're always kind of amazed. So I thought by doing a little short video today to show you the size of those bays and what we can carry, you might enjoy it as well. There you go, that's it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, how about a thumbs up? Consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Leave us a comment down below also. As always, have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.